You can see I'm not just any old cat. Since you seem to have half a brain, might I ask a favor? It won't be too much of a bother, I promise. Call me cynical, but I don't believe cats can talk. I'll help you out, but only if you tell me who you really are. I knew you were clever. Yes, I'm no cat. At least not on the inside. This is where you tell me about some bizarre episode that put your soul into a cat's body. Exactly. You're good. Of all the possibilities, why a cat? Oh, let me start from the beginning. This body that I'm in, the most beautiful cat in the world, she was my precious little baby. Obviously, I named her Jem because she was my treasure. She was everything to me, but she got sick and passed away. I had a difficult time dealing with her death. I couldn't accept it. I shied away from reality. I did everything I could to preserve Jim's body while I desperately searched for a way to bring her back. Science, voodoo, alchemy, you name it. I tried everything you could ever imagine. I spent years, no, decades, performing experiments to bring her back. I'm not one to judge, but the love you have for your cat is more than a little frightening. She was my life, but nothing worked. I couldn't revive her. I'd run out of ideas. I was devastated. I had just about given up on life, everything, when God decided to throw me a bone. A little girl approached me. She called herself Lumina. Lumina? This ought to be good. What happened? I thought this little angel had been sent from the heavens when she handed me a potion, and said it had the power to lend Jim my soul. According to her explanation, if I drank the potion, I could revive her. Of course, I drank the entire bottle without hesitation. Didn't anyone ever tell you not to drink strange potions? Especially ones given to you free of charge by people you just met on the street. But this stranger told the truth. Jim was revived. See? Alive as ever. However, I wasn't prepared for these side effects. This wasn't what I had in mind. And that's where I come in, isn't it? Yes! Lumina mentioned there was an antidote that can reverse the effects of the potion. With it, things can go back to the way they were. It's called Starlet Spice. Please, will you find some of it and wave it under my nose? I assume you're talking about your human body, so it's still intact somewhere? Do you recall where? When dawn approaches, you'll find it wandering aimlessly near a large assembly of cats. You can tell from a single glance that it lacks any sort of soul. My name, my real name, is Ronan. I don't know if my body will respond to that, though. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for something called Starlet Spice. Do you know it? Starlet Spice, you say? Oh, yes. Yes, I know of it. It's a very powerful antidote. It's also a very rare item. Are you looking to purchase a vial? I have none in stock, but bring me the ingredients and I'll brew up a batch in a jiffy. Sounds good to me. Exactly what is it that you need? Take a look at the recipe. As you can see, some monster slaying will be required. Huh. Looks like I already have all the... Bring me the ingredients listed here, and I'll brew up a dose before you can say the Almighty God Benevelsa. I've got everything you wanted to make a batch of that potion. So I see. Now if you'll just give old Rubrio a minute here... There we go. This is what you asked for, Starlet Spice. No need for payment. 
just promise me you'll come back again, even if just to chat. Um, before you go, there's something you should know about that potion. Does it have side effects? No, no, it's nothing dangerous like that. The scent of the antidote has a certain, shall we say, power over the feline species. Take every precaution and avoid all cats while this is in your possession. Great. Nothing dangerous at all, then. Yes. It drives them into quite a murderous frenzy. <laughs> My gut says that's Ronin. You don't miss a thing, do you? Let him smell the antidote and see what happens. It's but time to wake up. <laughs> Ronin? My name is Ronin. Am I in my own body again? Yep. Looks like this stuff actually worked. Welcome back to your old life. Back? B but if I'm here, then where's Jem? Look, she's gone. You know that. She's been gone for decades. I know it's a hard reality to face, but you can't keep running from it anymore. <sighs> I know, I know. She's never coming back. I get it. You're right. I have to face the truth. But I miss her. I... I'd give my own life to bring her back. But that's not what I want. Who is that? Uh, is that... Is that you, Jem? It is, and I'm here to tell you I want you to live, Master. If you die, there will be no one left in the world who remembers me. I lived a short but perfect life. You treated me with love. I couldn't have asked for anything more. I'll always be with you in your heart and in your memories. I want you to be happy, just like you were when we were together. Jem. Did you see that? I actually talked to Jem. It's like a dream come true. You experienced something very special. A miracle, even. I owe all of this to you and Lumina. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. You're thanking Lumina? Have you forgotten she's the reason you almost spent eternity as a cat? I'm not so sure about that. I think she knew that I'd go to great lengths to bring Jem back, even if it meant hurting myself in the process. I think Lumina saved me from myself. If that's what you choose to believe, I won't stop you. The important thing to remember is that Jem will always be with you in your heart, and that's where she'll stay.